Hi and welcome to Dr. Mix. Today we're going to radical remix with the MC707 by Roland. We're gonna use some of its features from the new firmware. Let me tell you all about it coming up. <laughs> Great to have you here. I am amazed. I am happy because I really love the MC707. I have been playing with it for a little while. Today I'm very happy to install the new firmware. Let me show you how that's done. Firstly, you need to download the firmware. Come here. See, I've just downloaded it. Let me unzip it. You obtain this beautiful folder. You have this bin file. You see this bin file? We're gonna put it on the card of the MC707. You have to make sure you put it in the root folder. Bang. Doop. Slide it in the back of the 707. Then hit shift and turn it on. Yes, media okay. Update core loader. Update your core. Cool, blimey. And it's complete. So now turn this off and format this card. But I also have very interesting work from the previous days. I am just going to put a new card in it. Fresh one. Tick. Turn it on. Version 1.20, baby. Utility. Format. Right. So now it's ready to go. I'm gonna spend now a little bit of time understanding the new functions. I'm gonna be ready to show them to you through the magic of editing in the morning. Good morning to you. This is a beautiful day and now I know everything about the new features of the MC707 because I spent all night starting them. Let's make some music. So now that I've got a few cameras on and you can see exactly what I'm doing here, exactly what I'm doing here, I'm gonna go with the first new feature of the MC707, which is the sampling feature. I love it. So it's a different way of sampling. So the way you do it is you go create and then you go drum. Now the drum has been created. You click on sound and you go record. See this new thing? <laughs> this is it, this is the new function. Basically now I can sample directly into the drum pads and uh, let's do it. So let me go back a little bit here. Enter. Done. So check how beautiful this is, all right? So as usual, I can zoom in and out here. I am going to go towards this direction and this is the starting point. See, now I can audition by pressing this button. I am just going to take this kick drum, all right? Let me zoom to place, yeah. Maybe I want to zoom even further. Let, let me cut it, I don't wanna hear that I had. So now I select this pad here, bang, and then I just tap enter. And now it's right here. How cool is that? You know, it took nothing. So now I'm gonna go to the hat, which starts right about here. And then I'm going to move the end point. Let's see if I got it right. That's right. So now I'm gonna tap here and I have my hi-hat. Let's keep on going. Take the snare drum, which comes after. Let's see. All right. By now you know what I'm doing, right? No mystery there, right? So now I press here, enter. See how fast this is, man? This is fast. I love it. We're going to go to the next hat. All right, we're gonna put it here. Next bit, ghost notes, is that what it is? Oh, I love this. Okay, so I'm gonna put that right here. And then what's next? Is it another kick? Ooh, and this is even longer, no hi-hat there. This is beautiful. Great! See, you can even normalize if you want to. That's pretty sweet. Makes it a little bit louder. 
I mean, in this case, I'm gonna go just with that, all right? I have a full kit. Ta-da! All right, let me sample something else now. Let's see if I can find some vocals anywhere here. I want something with not much um, drum content. Let's see if I can find anything here. Ooh. Yeah, let's use this one now. So... I hit shift exit if I'm not wrong, and now I'm ready to record again. All I need to do is press enter, and it goes. I've yeah. been down one time. And I've been down two times But now I'm down Alright, this is gonna be enough Let me see what we've got here Zoom out Bam! I like that. Bam! Let's take that. Come on. That's too cool, right? <laughs> Alright, I like that. I'm gonna place it here. And then I'm gonna put the next one. Oh, yeah! See, it's pretty easy, isn't it? All right. Let's catch another bit of this song. I've been down one time. One time. I like that. One time. One time. <laughs> so sweet. Just just that bit. One time. And I've been down. And maybe even just this section. Yeah. Alright. So now let's adjust the levels and release time of the samples. All I need to do is go to this function and say level. Yeah, and then the release, I'm gonna turn to zero. With shift, I can go faster. What I do need is to go to this function and uh, make sure that it's on sustain mode. So that's exactly what I need to do. So sustain, 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 sustain. And then I go back to function, release, 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 and release. So now I got my. Ooh, that was good. I should have recorded that. Maybe these samples are a little bit too quiet. Let me just do some sample editing. Just give me a little bit more gain. How about 12? 12 is cool. I really love this now. All right, let's build my song now. All right, let's pick a tempo of, let's say, this tempo. Bum, 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 bum. I am going to do this uh, two measures. One, two, and then the next measure. We can go a little bit faster, actually. One time. Maybe slower. One time. One time. Ten, four. One time. One time. 
Yeah. One time. One time. Doom. One time. One time. One time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This band, oh, we're gonna make it a little bit uh, less powerful by going to sounds. That's pretty cool. Now it's time to use some synthesizers because this thing has synthesizers in it and now I'm going to show you the new function which is extended chord capabilities. So what I do is I'm going to go to the next track right here, let's say create a tone and then I go to sound and I choose my preset. That's good. So now I press enter, so now the sound is on track number two, and I'm loving it. I select chords, yeah? That's pretty cool, but I can do much better because now I can edit chords, and then I can press enter. Now I've got access to keys, to modes, scales. Check this out, so I'm going... Let's adjust the key. We go minor. There you go. Alright? So now I put this here. See? Let me let me show you exactly how it works, because you have like the center. You say that this is major, okay? Okay, now you can go. All degrees. And here you can decide what's the spread of your voicing. One, three, five, six. One, three, five, six. One, three, five, seven. One, three, five, eight. One, three, five, nine. One, three, six, seven. So basically, you've got all the combinations possible. but also you've got what root note you want from the chord. So now I'm gonna go back to... Yeah? Now I'm gonna go like a major but one semitone below, and I'm gonna put it here. So I've got, I've got these three chords, check out. Let's add a bass now, I love it. Create tone. I'm gonna select preset bass. You know what? Let me go one octave below. I'm gonna shift edit and I'm gonna say one octave below. Now I can keep on selecting my sound. I like this. Could 
B even, one octave lower. Add some claps here, yeah. I can go to create, I create another drum, and then I go to sound, yeah. Ooh, I already have a 909. Let's use this 909. You ready? Ooh. Yeah, I think we got a song here. This is what you get with the MC707 new features with the new uh, firmware. You get also other things, but these are the features that I was more interested in. I suggest that you check that out because this is a very good piece of gear. It's becoming one of my favorites. I hope it inspires you to make great music, as always. Mm -hmm. 